Hey, what is shaking YouTube? Today we are going to take a look at the TiVo Nurus 3D printer. Now this is a very large 3D printer. It's one of the newest 3D printers coming out from TiVo. And this, it's got a build volume of 320 by 320 by 400. So it is very, very large. And it's got really cool advancements like you can print over Wi-Fi and all sorts of cool stuff. All the, can, all the components are underneath it so it doesn't take up as much space like on the desk as the TiVo Tornado, but it's even bigger in build volume. So that's really cool. So let's get right into this unboxing. This is the fourth 3D printer from TiVo I'll be reviewing. And so far I've been blown away with everything they've put out. They've really impressed me everywhere from just the, the build quality to the performance, the print quality, even just the freaking packaging. Like, look at this, they do the best job at packaging stuff. So here we just got the build plate right there. And I love how they always on the build tag type stuff, you get, you know, it says the name of the printer and everything. But just the way they box everything, the unboxing experience with TiVo is always really nice. So here we got um, some screws. Everything's labeled like perfectly. They use nice, you know, nice labeling. And usually you get printed directions. So here we got our feet and everything. What do we got in here? Oh, yep, see we got our US power cord and you can get a European if you're in Europe. Uh, PTFE, or a spare PTFE too. Uh, uh, flexible metal spatula to remove prints. And we get full product manual and assembly directions. So, most 3D printers, they never give you directions, let alone directions this nice. Like, look at this. They're, like everything's in color good pictures they literally go over everything um, they even give you like how to calibrate it with your slicer and everything so you'll and you'll also get directions on the sd card usually too okay More packaging stuff here we got the lcd panel so very cool all right okay now it looks like i can take this the the gantry assembly is all right here. This printer seem, seems to be mostly assembled. It looks like it'd be a very quick assembly. Very simple. This would be a good type of printer if you're, you know, it's your first printer or something and you're worried about being able to pull one together. Um, it's got really cool, like, printed logos. I'll show you more up close in a little bit. <laughs> That's freaking cool. It's got, we're gonna set that down. It is single lead screw, just like the tornado. Okay, and here's the the bed assembly. And yes, it is uh, quite the large printer. Let me carefully take this out. All right. I think that's everything right there. Now, yeah, I really like how everything, all the electronics and everything are underneath in here, enclosed in this box. So this is very safe. You don't have to worry about something shorts out and zapping you or anything. Uh, it looks like the board is going to be connected with a ribbon cable right here on the side. So that's where the LCD screen is going to clip on and everything. But um, it looks like it's going to be a pretty quick assembly. So I'm going to put the... Uh, Put the camera on time-lapse mode. We'll time-lapse the build, but it shouldn't be too long. So we'll be right back after the build, and uh, I guess we'll get to playing with it. Alright guys, so we got it all set up, I got it all leveled. There's actually an assisted leveling here, but I just did it manually myself. I put in the provided SD card right here. So it's just a micro SD, so let's see what's on the card. So first off, I don't, I don't know what that is. Let's click here. Okay, apparently we can't open those type of files here. Uh, printout, what's, what the heck? Okay, that's totally like the directions or something. So, let's try this. Okay, test G-code. All right, so we're going to start off with this baby. We're going to see what happens. First, it's going to auto-level. It'll preheat, and it'll get right Okay, in. guys, so the first print was a success. So this, as far as I know, is the only test print on the G-code. So, 
I mean, it's just a little block. This Biltac holds really good. I've def there we go. Holy crap. See, um, obviously it was this was tested before it left the factory with black filament, so that's why there's still some residue in there. Um, but um, yeah, it turned out pretty good. No layer lines really. Uh, it looks calibrated fairly well. So let's load up our own prints and let's have some real fun. guys so after a couple prints I got this belly song so I need to take this off the bill plate and put it together but my little hot diggity guy counterweight came out absolutely perfect and um I actually found that on the SD card they have just the one test print G code then they also have an STL which you can slice for this and for this spool holder so there is an STL file for the spool holder. You'll just need to slice it yourself, but it is provided on the SD card. So next thing I want to do is I want to check out the Wi-Fi printing. So we're gonna, I'm gonna download that app, and we're gonna check that out. But it's, there's a QR code on the, in the directions, which I can scan on my phone, and it'll bring me to the app store. So I'm gonna get all that set up, and then I'll show you guys how the whole app thing works. All right, guys, so after a little playing around, I got the app to work. So the directions are pretty good. you got to follow them exactly, and you got to reflash the firmware with your Wi-Fi password and everything in the firmware. So uh, it's real easy to do. you just got to follow along. So now that I'm all set up and everything and I'm connected, let's um, print something. So uh, let's go to the library here. Okay. And there's all sorts of just examples. You can also search stuff, but I'm just going to see, like, what's kind of the first one. What's this? It's like an action figure type dude. A ring. You know, I think I saw, like, a, a whistle. There we go. Let's print this whistle. Let's try this out. Okay, so... Don't really know what I'm doing first time, so we're going to hit collect here. Okay, I collected it. So I think now to print it... What is that? Is that how I print it? Open storage. Okay, yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Allow. How do I print this now? I think that's what I would do. I'm just go here. You know, there we go. Okay, so I think it's loading. Let's see what, see what happens. Okay. Uh, I guess I can pick the size and everything. And we're just going to do the default. Hopefully I'm not messing with it too much. Okay, next. Yeah, confirm print. Let's see what happens. I just left all the settings how they had them. You can, uh, right there, I could change the layer height. I could change, the you know, instead of a raft, a brim, whatever. But I just went with whatever the default was because, I don't know, I'm kind of experimenting here. So this is actually kind of exciting, though, for me. Oh, check it out. On the, look at, look at it on the board here. It says uploading. So it's working. Look, it's doing something. Oh, see, look. Here it says downloading, and here it says uploading. Cool. This is neat. 2019, guys. 2019. 3D printers in 2019. Okay, so this might take a little bit. So I'm going to come back when it's done downloading. Okay, guys, so it basically just starts printing like it normally does. Uh, but then on your phone, you get this screen where it's got... You know, all the temperatures of everything. Just all the same stuff it's showing up on here. 
uh, is showing up on here. So here it's it, it's heating up the extru oh, sorry it's heating up the extruder first. Then it's going to heat up the bed um, as well as it shows right there. Uh, and then also too you get the option button here where you can get more stuff. You also at the bottom here have the option button where you can unlock more stuff. You can control the fan uh, and everything right off your phone. So very very cool. You can make on the fly adjustments now using either the onboard touch screen or this. So very cool. I'm going to have a lot of fun playing around with this app. But really cool, especially if you're somebody you don't maybe you like you don't even have a computer or you got a really crappy computer, so you don't really want to be slicing files all the time. You can just do it right off your phone. So this is pretty cool. So I'm going to time lapse this whistle and this is pretty neat. Alright guys, so I've had this printer for three days now and I've been printing a lot of really cool stuff with it. So first off here was just like that test print I did, um, nothing really to it, let me get the camera to focus on it. But it um, printed really nice, everything looks really good, really clean. And then this was the whistle with the app, uh, it worked good, the bottom of the print did fuse to the, the, the raft, so if I use that app again I'm going to change the settings on the raft or not use one at all. Normally I don't even use one. So, and this, this battle song though, like, this printed incredible. There was very little stringing or anything. And on Cura, all I did to set it up was I used the TiVo Tornado profile that's stock on Cura. And then from there, I uh, just changed the build, the, the build volume to 320 instead of 300. Oops. <laughs> And uh, yeah, it actually came out really good. So then, since I was getting such good results, I wanted to print something a little harder that you really have to, uh, you know, see. So this one, you saw the time lapse of this. So this is a lithophane. This is a picture of my sister and brother-in-law, the like two days after they had their baby Finn, and it's a lithophane. So if I hold it up to the light here, you can see it's actually a picture. And this is a only printers that print really accurately can pull off stuff uh, like lithophanes and it did it flawlessly first try. So this printer, I am extremely impressed with it so far. My favorite thing that TiVo does though is they have cooling fans here and here. So you're getting cooling blowing at both sides of the print. So the you're, you get very little stringing and it just makes everything really nice. Also too, the way that they have eccentric nuts on right here right here on both sides over here this access is extremely stable well it's only lead screw on one side there's no lead screw over here it's extremely stable on um, this I mean this is a pretty big print this took nine hours to print and um, there's no shifting no nothing no, no layer line no z-banding uh, it looks like perfect and this is with no modifications no nothing right out of the box Stock Cura settings, um, printed absolutely amazing. I'm really, really uh, impressed with everything I was able to print out of this thing so far.
Alright guys, so after having this printer for three days now, I've had a lot of time to play with it and I absolutely am blown away by it. I love this printer. I think right now this is probably the best printer under $500, uh, especially like a large printer like this. I believe right now it's selling on Gearbest and stuff for around like $429 or something. I'm not quite sure. I'll put links down below to all different stores, wherever you want to get it. But yeah, I think this is the best printer so far this year. I really love the touch screen first off. Um, all printers now should have touch screen. Um, but the fact that you can control it with an app, I only have one other printer that can be controlled with an app and it's like this freaking big. It's like a little Delta printer. This is my first like legit printer that you could send prints to it just off your phone. A lot of times I'm editing videos and doing all this different stuff on my computer. My computer's tied up and it's rendering files so I can't be slicing files and stuff. It takes forever. So it's nice to just have another way I can do it just off my phone. Um, super cool. Like totally 21st century right there. I think going into the new years and stuff, a lot more printers are going to start to have Wi-Fi and stuff. And it's good to see TiVo's really stepping in right away. They're going to get ahead of the game. Um, the app was a little goofy at first to, to figure out because it's like in Chinese and English. But once you once once you read the directions, it's fairly easy, easy to figure out. Um, yeah, everything is just really nice on this. It's a very solid machine. I love the TiVo Titan extruder. I love the filament runout sensor, but I love how just they have the just the cool logo on it and everything. But yeah, the way this printer looks, it just looks nice. I love how the all the electronics are down here. It's very safe. You don't have to worry about it setting on fire or anything. Um, I popped it open just to look at it. There is a MOSFET in there. Um, yeah, every, all the electronics look great. There's more. There's somewhere to plug in an auto bed level sensor. Yeah, there's, there's extra room on the board. Just looks great. Everything looks well ventilated. The printer's not too loud. And, yeah, it's just, it's just really nice. But my single favorite thing is the, the quality of prints that come out of here. Um, just the mix between the way they do the hot end, the TiVo Titan extruder mixed with the dual cooling fans. Uh, it's literally perfect. Usually the first upgrade I do on any printer when I buy it is... I upgrade the the fans. I like the fang style where they got both fans coming in both sides. This one you don't need to do anything. Literally, out. This is how you're gonna want to use this thing. I, I wouldn't see any mods you want to do. Maybe if you want to make like, I mean the Z axis is already like you can even it even has an adjustable Z stop on it. So I don't even know what you would add if you wanted to add anything to this other than just like cosmetic mods. Um, yeah, to me it's literally. Perfect to go, just how it is. Uh, the bed level sensor is kind of unnecessary because the bed stays level very good. It's very sturdy once you get the eccentric nuts all set up and everything. Uh, really, really nice. Um, yeah, this is probably yeah my new favorite printer of 2019. Uh, if this printer is though like out of your price range, I would highly recommend the TiVo Tarantula Pro. I did like like a month and a half ago. I did a review on that. It's a little smaller, but it's it's only like around two hundred dollars. It's it's. Like half the price. Now, I do think it's awesome to have a big printer like this because most of the time you're printing things smaller, but it's better to have something like, like you say you want to print something big, it's better to be able to, you know, than, than like you say you want to, you have a small printer, then you want to print something big, but you can't. And you have to do it like in parts and glue them together. It's nice on here. Like say I wanted to print a Halloween mask with Halloween coming up. I can just print the whole thing. Boom. Right there. Or like a giant pumpkin or whatever I want to do. I can just do it all in one piece on this thing. And it's a lot easier. I'm not gluing stuff together after. Uh, yeah. Or like this balisong. I was able to print all the parts on the bed. On a smaller printer, you'd have to print like the handle, then print the blade. You know, you'd do it all separately. This was nice. I was able to just do it all as one and be done with the thing. Um, yeah, really. So it's always nice to have that option. But I understand if, you know, maybe 400 plus dollars is just too high of a price for you. You know, in general, like you can't afford that much money. Well, I would highly recommend the TiVo Tarantula Pro. That printer I was blown away by. It's it's almost, it's very, very similar, um, very close to the same thing, but smaller. So it's still quite the large build volume, but not as big as the Neuris here. Um, the Neuris, this is giving two thumbs up. Um, I just want to say shout out to TiVo. Thanks for making such a good quality product and everything. And uh, yeah, and I look forward to checking out anything else they come out with. They're, they're killing it in the game. I love how they have good directions. Um, I love their build quality, the way they package it, um, their customer service. Literally everything about TiVo is awesome. And also, if you get this printer, I recommend adding them on their Facebook group. They're very helpful. If you have any problems, there's always very nice people that will right away help you out and uh, 
get you done in no time. So, thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll put links down below. Please smash that like button. It helps a lot, and I guess until next time, I'll see you later.